Hi. Sure. Would you like a nice cold water? Yeah, I would accept one if that's what one is. If that is what that is. Yeah. Sure, of course it is. It's unopened. I got some Gatorade packets for you. Well, God bless you. I appreciate that. Which, uh, what flavor would you like? Um. I have grape and watermelon, and also black cherry. <coughs> Your choice. Strawberry, or watermelon. Watermelon? Yeah, or strawberry. So there you are. You need you meet <laughs> you need to make a phone call? Um I can help you out. Yeah the number is uh that number right here. Alright. Here you, you go. live here? Yeah, I, well chat's work. Chat's work? Yeah. So. My son I got a hold of him earlier up at the Salvation Army and he was going to pay a whole bunch of bills and he was gonna be busy but I thought he was coming up here to Salvation Army. Uh, right down the street here? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see him. Yeah, I saw you walking. You stopped by that bridge there. I had to go down, turn around. Yeah, I've carried eight children. My time is limited. Yes. I'm from nine families. I don't really much do isolation. I'm a United States and United States of America citizen. Is, uh, is it ringing? Um, it's going to his full mailbox. His, his, it went yeah. to his full mailbox. Yeah. Well, could you use a lunch? Are you hungry? Um, I have some good food. What do you got? I got a ham and cheese sandwich and some chips and. Um, yes, I would like a uh, sandwich and some chips. Yeah, um, I just made. Here, let me give you a card so you don't kind of know what I'm doing here. I just help people out. You know, I got a YouTube thing I do. You know, a bunch of people help me to help me to help you. So I'm just parked right here. You to yeah. help me. Yeah. I need my two thousand dollar used automobile back from the thieves. You got your car stolen? A used two thousand dollar automobile, yes, yeah, stolen with a false DUI charge. Really? Seven years ago. Oh, so the police impounded it? <coughs> they shoved it up the rectum sideways. All right. That's what they do with it. It happens. Yeah, they crammed it right up directly up the rectum sideways. That's what they did with me. Well, there's probably some room. I'll tell you what. Can I ask your name? Holly. Holly. My name is Daryl. Nice to meet you, Daryl. It's nice to meet you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let me get you that lunch. And, uh... You wouldn't have any soap on you, would you, Daryl? I would have some soap. You need some soap? Yes, and I need some soap. I know some people, it scares them to oh, death to salt? be around anything clean or godly, but I'm not one of them. You need soap and you said... Soap and a sandwich. Oh, yeah. All right. Give me a second. Um, yeah, you won't have to cross the street. You know, that's uh, got a big curb here. Yeah, I've got eight children. They don't want me to have any. You got... You go ahead and with your hire. Yeah, I'm just waiting hire. for this car to get by. Yeah, let them get, you know, go ahead and build you up and tear you down. And people's real small folks. All right, I'll get you a sandwich. Do you need any toothpaste or toothbrush or anything? Yes, both. Okay. Well, here's a bar of soap. Well, God bless you. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's Dove. It's a good stuff. Now, there's a... What's your name again? My name is Daryl. Daryl. Yeah. Well, there's thank a, you, a pack of party chips. Uh, a snack mix. Yeah. Uh, a, uh, Rice Krispie bar. <laughs> Rice Krispie bar. A granola bar. And, uh... A Kool-Aid pouch in there, and um, there's a Slim Jim, a Pop Tart. Oh God, that's a lot. Yeah, and here's a couple of toothbrushes, a toothpaste. Well, thank you so very much. The How long have you been out here, young lady? Um, seven years. My father was seven a years. Yeah, yeah. My father, he was a carpenter. Your dad was a carpenter. Yes, he built two homes. Arted two homes in one lifetime of 72 years of age just with only a fourth grade education. Wow. Couldn't even read, write, or spell. Could only work with numbers. He worked harder he than he did smarter. Yeah. So. Uh, that's all he did. That's all he did. Thank you, you so much. Do you need any socks? Uh, I just got plenty. I just bought me four pair. All right. Cool. I sure did. Um, I'm not sure uh, how to get a hold of my son. I just called him. 
and now um, I've not uh, been able to reach him. Do you, um, can you let me try one more number? Sure. My knees, my, I need to write that down. Somebody stole my ink pens last night. That's one thing I don't have as a pen. I got a, I got a marker if you need to write one down real fast. Um, 706. Uh-huh. Here you go, Holly. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, a man's fell in the ditch up here on the right. If you could help him. Over there? Great. Up here by the storage bin, build, uh, the storage bins and buildings. Pass the light. There's a gate. Yeah. And okay. across from the gate, over in a ditch, is an elderly man. I couldn't help him up. Really? And I can't get to him. I gave him a blanket and, and what I could to help him get up the hill with. Do you know his name? Um, no, I do not. All right, I'm going to go investigate that. He's an elderly man, though. Okay. Well. Yeah, he looked like a man. All right. Yeah, he's a man. So it's on, it's on the right-hand side as I go past this light? Yeah, on the right. Okay. I'm going to go investigate. Is it where you had dropped, stopped your buggy? Yeah, Did you, you walk know. down a hill? Uh, no. It's on the side of the road across the street from that gate up there. Okay, but it's on that side. Yeah, across okay. the street from the gate. Okay. All right, I'm going to go investigate. Um, is there anything else I can do for you today? Um, no. You can't spare any change, can you? Well, I'll tell you what. I might be able to do you a little bit better than that. I have a friend named Matt. His name's Matt. Matt. Foster. This is a $20 uh, prepaid Visa debit card. With $20 on it? Yep. And you can use it anywhere Visa is accepted. Really? Yeah. Well, God bless you and thank you. Yeah. I hope I don't go to that Vista set of apartments in Knoxville, Tennessee. You heard of Vista? Yeah. There's Visa and there's Vista. One has a little T or a cross in it. Right. Well, if you said someone fell, it. someone's down for the count. Yeah. An elderly man. Yes. All right, I'm gonna go. I gotta go look. God bless you, Dale. All right, you're you're very welcome. You have a great day. You it was a pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, enjoy your lunch. There's a bunch of good stuff in there. There's a mustard pack with the ham and cheese. If you like mustard. Yeah. All right, have a good one. Thanks. You. You're welcome. All right, you're welcome. You know, when I was passing here a little bit ago, I did notice that she had stopped. She's pushing a baby stroller type deal right now. And, uh, and she's, she had stopped right up here past this light that you can't see. Just a traffic light. But uh, there's nowhere to park though. I'll find a spot. I'll make it happen somehow. All right, guys, we're coming up on a small bridge here. Well, it's not even a, it's a bridge. It's more of a tunnel that goes underneath the railroad tracks. And this is where she was standing here a few minutes ago. I don't know this basically looks like a uh, you know water runs you know through city overflow and that type of thing street water you know gets channeled somewhere they got a big pipe here but I don't know she's not across from a gate and I'm not seeing a gate I'm gonna go to the other side of the road here see what's happening all right, there's a giant water pipe. All right. I guess we gotta travel further. Let's do that. Oh boy, what, what, a, what a way to start the day. I'm driving super slow. I purposely made sure that there was no cars behind me. Seatbelt. 
Okay. Well, this must be it. The gate to the storage unit. All right. This will bear some investigation for sure. Policeman just drove by. I don't see anything besides trees, bushes, leaves. You know, I'm stopped in such an odd space that you could possibly be in. And I'm walking across the street and I had to wait for a police officer, sheriff's department, to, uh, past me so I can you know get across the street and I'm walking into nothing there's nothing to cross the street for you know what I mean there's no business you know that would at the very least build some kind of uh, <laughs> inquiry as to hey buddy why are you here what are you doing man well this lady over here just told me that some guy's laying outside the road. I'm not seeing it. The investigation continues. All right. I'm not done with this. I think I'm going to call 911. Whitfield County Sheriff's Department. Here are the listings for Whitfield County Sheriff Department near Dalton. Whitfield County Sheriff's Department. Hi. Um... I just met with a woman. I was driving down the street on Thornton Avenue, and I met with a woman. Uh, she's homeless. She's pushing. She's pushing a baby stroller on Thornton Avenue towards downtown, and she said there's somebody laying in a ditch near the between the Salvation Army and Tyler Street on the east side of the road. I went and looked. I didn't see anything, but this is not for me to decide. I don't know if she was, if her mental faculties were in place. You know, I'm not really sure on that. It's not my department. But she told me she she lent him his blank, her blanket to try to pull him up a hill. An elderly man that was passed out on the side of the road in the ditch. And she said it was across the street from a, a gate. The only gate that I could see was from a storage unit. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, let me get you in touch with dispatch. Just so an officer can come out there, scope out the area a little bit, and you can let them know where that lady's at. They might could possibly try to talk to her. So give me one second, okay? Sure. Dispatch. Hi. Um, I was just transferred from the sheriff's department and I told the woman the story. Um, I had just met a woman pushing a baby stroller on Thornton Avenue uh, between the Salvation Army and downtown Dalton, and she was heading towards downtown on, on Thornton Avenue. And she told me that she just tried to help a man, an elderly man, get out of a ditch on the opposite side of the road she was if you were heading into downtown it's on the east side of the road you know that'll make it easy. but i looked and she said it was across the street from a gate a big gate 
and the only gate that I could see was from a storage facility there and I looked around and I didn't see anything per se and to tell you the truth I'm not sure if she was if her mental faculties were in place or not but I can't I can't make that judgment you know I'm just a guy so uh, she was heading north she's pushing a baby stroller a middle-aged woman you know thin build you know five foot seven you know 130 pounds roughly you can't miss her but I don't know they sometimes disappear but I went and looked and I I didn't see anything but I I, I can't I can't take this as nonsense you know what I mean that's why I'm calling yeah what was your name sir my name is Daryl and what was she wearing uh, she had a white shirt on, short, black shorts, like biker shorts, you know, st tight spandex. Uh, just she probably like her Hispanic. Oh, she was white. Uh, and she says she saw it. I, I don't know. I wouldn't look, like I said, but uh, she she seemed a little bit maybe confused. I'm not sure, but she seemed to have a somewhat of a compelling story as if it was real, but I didn't see anything. But then again, I made it. I may have messed up the directions, but she, by now, she's probably over by Crystal in the courthouse, you know, or, you know, in that general area, pushing a buggy. Probably be hard to miss. <laughs> All right, well, because I want to go check on both of them and see if they can find them. All right. Well, if you, if you got any questions, please give me a call, sir. Okay, no problem. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Well, you know, somebody says something like that, that that's so far off the, off the chain, you know, so far out of, you know, just normalness, it almost sounds like it's too crazy of a story not to believe. You know, why would she just voluntarily say that, you know? But then again, who knows? But leaning on the side of caution, I figure it'd be best. <laughs> we got to get the professionals involved. That's all there is to it. I'm going to do one more drive-by. I had to find a spot to stop and make a phone call. All right, man. I'll keep you tuned in here. Put on the dash cam. We'll see what's up. If anything, yeah, I'm not sure. You guys seen her in the video? She said that he's fallen and he can't get out of this ditch or something that he was in. And uh, tell the truth, there's not really much of a ditch on this side of the road. I will. Uh, pursue this as long as it takes. Alright, I guess we'll shut down for a second here and see if anything develops.